hello guys um so on the weekend i think it was yesterday saturday morning um i actually decided to ask the question if anyone would be interested in me doing book reviews right um either a book review or just a key take off from a book that i've read and just shared it with everyone because i think there's a lot of gems that people find or that i find in books that i would definitely love to share with people uh, so the book that I'm going to be looking at first um, is a book that I read uh, last year towards the end of the year when I just moved to Joburg um, and so how I ended up getting this book really was um, I'd swapped it with someone else so I got two gifts which were the same book um, so I swapped it with one of my colleagues and she swapped me this book which I absolutely love. I will say a lot of books are my favorites, but this is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, this book is called Mind Power into the 21st Century, um, Techniques to Harness the Astounding Powers of Thought by John. Nobody can pronounce my name, so I don't know how to pronounce the surname. Okay, and it's like, it's like a very short book. It's got um, 19 chapters, right? If I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check that. Yeah, it's got 19 chapters, right? Um, but it's very short. Uh, only a ha about 100 and... What's it? It's 145 pages. So each chapter is very quick, to the point, impactful, lovely, right? Um, and it speaks a lot about how you view your life, how you view reality and put some things like into perspective. Um, just to name some of the chapter names, um, it's about like consciousness, visualization. I personally love books that speak about, that speak about yourself and personal mastery, um, as well as just viewing things from a different perspective. Okay, without wasting too much time, because I'm trying to keep these very short, um, I just actually wanted to read something, right? Just like a page from the book. Um, and it's from chapter 10, um, which speaks about reality, right? Um, okay. So it says, What is happening right now in your life is not happening to you as a result of chance, right? Your past consciousness has helped to create it. Your now has its causes and roots in the past. Consider the following analogy, and I absolutely love this analogy. When you look up into the sky and see the stars, what you are really seeing is the past because some of those stars no longer exist. This is possible because stars are hundreds and thousands of light years away, meaning that it takes their light traveling at 186,000 miles per second, hundreds or thousands of years to reach the earth. Thus, the light we see from a star a hundred light years away is actually light emitted a hundred years ago, right? That particular star could have exploded or disintegrated 25 years ago, but we will continue to see its light and we will continue to see its light for another 75 years, even though the star itself has long ceased to exist. Okay, so... For me, I think what I thought um, John was going to do with this paragraph and what he actually does with this paragraph um, is much different. So John really has a more futuristic um, look and, and uh, at this actual analogy. So he speaks about making sure that you keep this analogy in mind, right? And what it means for the future is that you can constantly change your reality in small things, right? But not, your reality doesn't change immediately, right? So it's about creating that star, right? And it will take it, it will take it a while for it to appear in your sky. But don't grow tired, right? It's 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 this whole thing of of planting the good habits or or or, or building the good mindsets um, today, and you won't necessarily see the light today. But I mean. When you consider the type of sky you're trying to to create in the future you'll really see those habits and those and those good practices um actually coming out or or, or coming into fruition for me um i think another thing because for me 
healing is also such a, a, a huge component of, of being the best version of yourself. Um, I think what I took from it is from, is from like a, a back view, like a, a the Tenai back book, really. Um, and for me, what that actually meant is that how you react and interact with people and how you interpret some things, right? You might think that it's reality, right? But there's a star that's, that's, that's illuminating in your sky, which is in your past, right? And, and your, so I think an example of this would be, there's something that's happened in your past, right? That may be traumatic or, or, or may influence the way you view yourself or how you think other people view you. And sometimes your reactions in certain situations resemble a sky or resemble the understanding of 20 years ago or something that happened in your childhood. And it's so important for you to look at the stars in your sky, how you view yourself, how you view um, interactions with others and what you think other people think of you. And try to trace it back and actually question upon that star. Does that star still exist? Um, and is that a star that if I, if I, if I, if I keep it and I, I keep recreating the star in my life, is it something that I'd want to exist in my reality 25 years from now or 20 years from now or whatever the time frame may be? Um, it's about constantly deciding you recreate your, your sky today and it illuminates sometime in the future. So I think that's where our messages both come together. So anyway, this book is absolutely amazing. I definitely will do another review on some of